And I, I want to also continue by giving you a little backstory about Giren. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, just after Bitcoin. And they say that if Bitcoin is like digital gold, then Ethereum is like digital oil. Some people have told me to avoid saying Ethereum is like digital silver because it's not. It's more like oil, where it has its own utilitarian purposes and function. And you have to understand the smart contract of Ethereum. So what was the smart contract of Bitcoin? The rule for Bitcoin was that there's only 21 million Bitcoins that can ever be mined or there can only be 21 million Bitcoins that can ever exist. And they say that 17 million has already been mined and there's only 4 million left. And they say that the last one will be mined in the year 2140. And they say that Bitcoin is like gold because it is a store of value in the crypto space. It is the original cryptocurrency. It is the first cryptocurrency. And why are so many crypto adopters still advocating Ethereum to the moon? It's because Ethereum is still a bit more advanced than Bitcoin because the technology for Ethereum came out six years after Bitcoin. It is more advanced and it is more of a utility token. So there's still a lot of potential for Ethereum still. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to convert your fiat money into cryptocurrency and how to convert that cryptocurrency back into fiat money all done on your mobile phone using an app called Trust Wallet. And what differentiates Trust Wallet from all the other apps like Coinbase and Binance is that it has a special function to help you calculate the 10 levels of your Ethereum earnings. A function that Coinbase doesn't have, a function that Binance doesn't have. So what you want to do is just go ahead and download it. So I have my phone right here. Just go ahead and type in Trust Wallet and download it. So it's this one right here. And once it's downloaded, just go ahead and hit open. And you'll see two options. You can either create a new one or if you already have one, you can just log in. And since I am making a video today, I'm just going to hit create a new wallet. Hit OK. I understand. Hit continue. So this 12 words here is the password on top of a password. So the 12 words here, you have to place in order. It, what I liken it to is like a jigsaw puzzle and you have to just copy this so copy it and this these 12 words will be different for everybody and what you want to do is just go ahead and hit copy and what i do is just go over to my notes and save it in a new note so i don't have to write it because i'm lazy <laughs> if you want to write it down on a piece of paper that's fine too and just make sure you never show these words to anyone because this is like your password okay hit continue so here you just have to place the words in order that you saw it. So I'm just going to do a multitask and head over to my notes. And these were the words that I just copied. It's just a bunch of random words, but you have to place it in order. Okay. Okay. So I'm done. And you notice that if I didn't put any of the words in order, it would just show me an error message. Hit continue. And your wallet is now created. Hit OK. Enable. This is just to enable notifications. And then here, you can see the app. So there are a few main sections of the app. So this part here first is your wallet. This is the main wallet that you have. And I liken it to your own physical wallet. It's like your own purse. So let's just say that you have a cheap dollar store wallet or you have an LV wallet or you have something mid-range, like just a normal purse. And you can host a whole bunch of currencies. So for me, I have a bunch of Hong Kong dollar notes, some 20s. I have 
some rupees for some reason i have some rupees um because i was in india last year okay i have 500 rupees and i have five dirhams when i was in dubai so what i'm trying to say is one wallet can host a bunch of currencies in the same way your trust wallet or your crypto wallet holds a bunch of bitcoin a bunch of ethereum some binance coins and a bunch of other coins if you want to put it here so if you hit this little button right here the settings you can choose to turn on whichever coin you want so i can choose to turn on bitcoin cash doji coin some litecoin yeah okay some dash okay and then you can see it's all here in my wallet it's like how my physical wallet will hold like a bunch of pound hong kong dollars dirhams and rupees my digital wallet or my crypto wallet holds a bunch of cryptocurrencies and the more coins and tokens i have the more it will just show up here and how i do it is either i receive it or i buy it okay the second thing you need to know is the swap and exchange so if you go here you can see the swap function okay so swap is pretty straightforward it's like i want to swap my my hong kong dollar for some dirhams or rupees whichever so i go to a money exchanger and i say hey i'm going to dubai for a holiday so here's my hong kong dollar and the person at the counter will give me a bunch of dirhams right so that's a that's a swap i just swap one currency for another currency so in the same way here in the swap function i can choose to swap my let's just see okay they have usdt so let's just say i want to swap usdt which is like crypto backed by the us dollar so i select this and i want to change it for ethereum so i get some ethereum so the price of ethereum right now is about 400 so if i pay 500 usdt i will get 1.2 ethereum in return so this is what happens and if i had money in this account then i will see here that i can confirm to swap but we're not going to swap today just an overview today the exchange function and what i liken the exchange function is like it's like a casino so if you go to a casino you want to exchange your your money into poker chips and you want to you want to play at the poker table you know your poker chips won't work in the real world but you can only use it at the poker counter so you need to go to the casino counter to exchange your money to these poker chips and if you think about it it's also like changing your money at an arcade counter so if you've been to one of those old school arcades and you want to play like daytona racing or mario kart and you know your coins will work at these arcades or even like the claw machines you can put your coins in the slot so you have to change it for arcade tokens so this is what this is it's just an exchange okay the cool thing about this app is once i once i go back to my main wallet and i want to see today's price of let's just say i want to see today's price of ethereum I can just go ahead and select Ethereum and hit this little button right here on the top right. This is the market price of Ethereum today. And you can see that because my main currency is in US dollar, I can see here that the price of Ethereum is 388. And I don't have to go to Google or some other app. It's all within the app. And let's just say I want to receive some Ethereum today. I just hit on receive. And this is my wallet address. So it's like a physical address. When your friend wants to send you a parcel or you 
order something online and you need to give them your wallet address uh, sorry your physical address to send a mail to you send them like oh i am staying in 10 block 10 ocean drive postal code 520 something so that's my address in the same way this crypto address is your own address to your wallet so whenever one whenever someone wants to send you um, some coins or ethereum or whatever cryptocurrency there are two ways to do it first you can either send them your qr code and you send it to whoever is in your contact list or you can copy this long string of numbers here that looks like gibberish this is your address you hit copy and it says here your address is copied and what you want to do is just head over to your friend and paste it and then you send it and then your friend on your on the side of your friend he will see send so what your friend will do is he will hit send and there will be a box where he can put in your address to send the cryptocurrency to okay so it's pretty straightforward this tutorial very simple so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment and smash that button for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in my next video Bye.